now let, let's go deep and try to uh, understand some techniques is a prediction technique okay so usually we use the experience of people on the job we use historical data combined with the information about the project to move forward so let's start with top-down estimates top-down estimates one of the approach that a lot of people use is to get a, a project, a previous project that was completed. So they have all the budgets, how they plan and how it actually happened and try to seek correlations with a new project. And here can it have uh, several things you can have ratios you can have parameters uh, that you can use like uh, as the example of the house if you are building a house of 2500 square feet and you build a house of 2000 square feet that is a parameter the size of the house and so you can have what is called parametric parametric uh, correlation or you can say ratio is one point uh, is 25 percent bigger so we have a ratio and with that we thought we try to project the times and cost for the new project that is a very rough estimate that's a very rough estimate because usually projects are different of course and you cannot replicate but that usually give you some idea for the whole project and the all top-down estimates technique all, all techniques for top-down estimates it's based on the you you take a old project and project the new project the whole the entire project and then you break down and to understand each part of the project so we have here like uh, a por a portion method. Uh, it's it's a, a example that is in the book. Let's suppose that we are go for produce a software. That's an old way of producing software. They are distributing through CDs. But anyway, uh, you have usually in a software you spend twenty percent of the costs on the design phase. 30% on when you are doing the coding, 40% testing, 5% of the cost uh, doing the documentation, and 5% uh, producing the CD. So you have, if you have, like say, you did a, a software before, and that software before cost you 1 million, okay? 1 million. And now you have a second software to develop. Second software to develop. Second software. And that's by some parameters of ratio, you say that that is half of the work. You can estimate the total cost as 500,000. So that's the first step. Once you have that step, and for previous experience, you know the cost breakdown per phase you move down and start estimating uh, each phase each part of the project and that is what we call top-down uh, estimates so you take a previous project give an estimate for the entire project new project so take an old project project they estimate for the new project and then you go down on the WBS or in not down to the bottom but at least to the first level major deliverables or sometimes to the second level so we can have a cost estimate per phase that's called apportionment that's one technique of estimate project and it's used again as the rough estimate at the beginning or in the project charter Another uh, 
method, it's called consensus method, or Delphi technique. And, and, and that is, you, uh, you don't have any experience in the project. And uh, usually what you do, you consult several experts. But there is a, a process of, of, uh, of consulting those experts. What do you do? Sorry. What do you do? You start with uh, preparing some kind of questionnaires and send them to a list of experts. That's the first case. They experts individually, so they don't communicate with each other. They provide an estimate. You receive back that, those estimates as a project manager. You consolidate the average or some data or the most common and, or, and the list of estimates and send back to the same experts. And again, they are working individually, separately, one for another. They, they don't communicate with another. That's a, anonymous. They don't know who answered what. By watching the estimate from the other experts, usually the person go deeper in his thoughts and analysis and can come back with a better number. And so you do that cycle several times until you think that you, you are close to a most, uh, uh, most reliable number. So that's called Delphi technique okay i'm just taking that because i know that i saw some questions in the pm exam so they talk what is the technique so that's a delf technique it's written in the book as well so you don't know the project so you come back and and and, and do that kind of uh, thing so those are the major uh techniques that are used for uh top down actually consensus method can be used top down or bottom up it's a technique that can be used for just for a task it can be used for the whole project it can be used for uh, several things in life it's not just for project manage management okay those are the uh, top down I would say now let's move to the bottom up estimates bottom up estimates and here I Let's start with the WBS, okay? So the WBS, we break down, we broke down the project in phases, deliverables, specialities. So we break down the project and we break down and put that in groups. Then we further broke down the groups into tasks or group of tasks, and then into work package or WBS dictionary. That's the way we go. Now, in the, we have tasks, if you take the lower levels of the list, or work packages. On the bottom, the lowest level of the WBS, we have the tasks. Okay? The work package. And now, what we'll be doing, we'll be estimating time and cost for each work package. So, focusing on a specific task in the work package okay for each one of them and then we we'll be consolidating that in the group the group and then for the project and that's called when you move from the bottom up techniques so just to revise that we have here so we go we analyzed that yellow task here and we estimate a budget for labor, materials, equipment, rent of equipment or buy of equipment, all the costs. And we estimate the duration for that task. Then we go for the, on the second task, just focus on that task, forget everything else, forget all the other tasks, just focus on that task, estimate the cost, because you know, to execute that task, you have a person, 
you have uh, materials, you need equipment, you need a location, and so that's that's the estimate. And and then we move going through the WBS, the lowest level sub delivery. That's the lowest level sub delivery. Those are we call the WBS WBS dictionary. WBS dictionary or work package. And from there, oh sorry, and from there I start moving up. That's the name bottom up. I put that symbol that is indicates some, but that's work well for the cost, but not exactly well for the duration. And I ask you why it works well for the cost, but not for the duration. Who knows? That sum when you add up, that adding up, uh, yes, with their tasks overlap. You may have some tasks that are doing simultaneously, so the total duration of that group is not the, the sum of each task duration, and that that is why. But anyway, uh, the idea is moving up. All those techniques work very well for cost. You can. Um, in some cases used for duration, but not here. You need the duration will be just done when you go for uh, the project schedule, the real duration. And then you move up for the cost of the project. That's called bottom-up techniques, uh, bottom-up approach. And the techniques are techniques that are suitable to evaluate the cost and duration, to estimate the cost and duration of one task or one work package. The first technique uh, I would like to call it's a parametric estimate. So parametric means parameters. So you take one parameter, you multiply by the size of project. If you are putting the floor, okay, the flooring in the house, and you know that it's ten dollars per square feet to install the floor, and the house has three thousand square feet. So you take ten, ten, uh, ten. What is my ten dollars per square feet? Okay, that's that's dollar per per square feet times three thousand square feet. And you you come to a total cost of thirty thousand dollars. Okay, that is use a parameter and multiply by a quantity, and you have the final cost. That is what you call pa parametric estimate. So you have to find a unit. A parameter can be square feet, can be uh, working hours, one work hour is X, 10 work hours is X times 10. 